Oh, let me tell you about your religion. Now I need to tell you. By now they would have used you for ritual. Oh, you think? Do you say, Amadio Ha, Shango, I there? No. By now your face is palm oil and all those things. Those days, when the king dies, they will bury somebody. The never ending debate about the impact of foreign religions, especially Christianity, has once again been reignited as a particular Nigerian cleric shared video of him preaching about the insincerity of those who criticize Christianity in Nigeria. Speaking vibrantly, he stated that Nigerian without the church, there would be trouble. of those who are saying we are fighting this they have no interest in the gospel what people are saying to the media and what they are doing is different nigeria is the poverty capital of the world all these pastors the people are just going to church they're building churches not building this not building any organizations how many have you built how many people have you taken out of poverty how many are in school because of you how many families do you bless every christmas none many of those saying this this and that they just hate the church they don't even love the country like that Nigeria without the church, there will be trouble. Oh, Christianity is white man religion. They brought Christianity and they brought slavery. They were enslaving us. Guess what? Those who pushed for the abolishment of slavery were Christians. When they came to Nigeria and they found out that Nigerians were selling themselves, you know those who were selling you, your kings. If they were buying people and say they took our ancestors, took them for slavery, who were those selling? The kings. They were the ones selling the people. I'm showing you history now. It was the coming of the missionaries that abolished it. They were the ones that went back to Great Britain and said, We have abolished this, this, and all, and they now sent soldiers to now come to arrest our own people for selling our own people. Then somebody who has not taken time to study history will say, Hey, don't mind them. They broke Christianity. Let's go back to our traditional religion. Oh, let me tell you about your religion. No, I need to tell you. By now, they would have used you for ritual. Oh, you think? Do you say, Amadio Ha, Shango, I there? No. By now, all your face is palm oil and all those things. Those days, when the king dies, they will bury somebody with the king. Maybe your uncle or somebody. That's your religion. That was what God took you out of. Because you don't know it and you only see it in movies, doesn't mean you should desire it. You are wrong. We need to read this street. People sound smart online. You listen, you know they don't know anything. They don't know Jack. Everything I'm telling you, go and fact check it. And say, eh, Christianity is white man religion. Shh, I lie. White people too were also worshipping foreign gods. Those who were worshipping Baal, were they black? So what has Christianity done to Nigeria? I will tell you, men. Christianity brought education to Nigeria. CMS grammar school. The church brought education. Many of the schools whose government is now collecting were started by the church who abolished the cleaning of twins in Nigeria. A woman who left her country for the sake of the kingdom came here. How many of you are twins here? You know what will have happened by now, now. Let's thank God for Christianity. That's done so much. The church must not embrace propaganda. Don't accept it. Don't let people sound smart when they are lying. Don't be quiet when you know the truth. Read, know the stories. Stand. Content for the faith. Content for the faith. The video did not land easy on internet users in Nigeria, especially on Twitter, which often houses Nigerians with controversial takes on colonialism, slavery, and impact of the West on Nigeria and Africa at large. Reacting to Pastor Femi Lazarus' statement, popular self-acclaimed Christian scholar Daddy Freeze said that they don't hate the church but want it to be what God envisioned it to be. Hi guys, I'm Daddy Freeze convener of the free the sheep movement and leader of the free nation in christ i greet you and i bring glad tidings um, with so much misinformation on the internet i want to address some of the false narratives that are being peddled with plenty sound effects and echo as fact of course um, this is not a quarrel, and should anybody disagree with me, feel free to put your comments. But remember, we're all entitled to our opinions, but we're not entitled to our facts. Let us start with the word propaganda. I love that word, because it was invented by the church. Pope Gregory invented the word propaganda. So when you're trying to pass a Christian narrative and calling uh, some people propagandists, let's look at the origin of the word propaganda. It came from the church. Secondly, for those of you who don't believe, I'm a Christian, a Christian scholar. I studied scripture in original languages. I studied Old Testament in Hebrew and Aramaic. New Testament in Greek and Latin, not English, oh. I'm definitely not King James. 
When you see the word Lucifer on my bio, a lot of people think, oh, he's a worshiper of the devil. When Jerome translated the Latin Vulgate or the Biblia Sacra Vulgata, he used the word Lucifer to describe Christ in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 19. Google it, don't trust me. Google it, it's there for you. So a lot of people call us the... Pro no, we're not the propagandists. We're the people who have come with the truth. Remember John chapter 4 says God is looking for those who worship him in spirit and in truth. So automatically if a pastor calls Lucifer Satan, he doesn't know the truth and he doesn't have the Holy Spirit. Simple. But that's not why we're here. I love to address why we're here. Let us first of all start with the notion that Mary Slessor, an Oimbo woman, came to eradicate buying of twins in Nigeria. There is some truth in that, but very little. The buying of twins happened, to my understanding, only in Calabar and in some parts of Eboin State. I am a full-fledged Yoruba man. In Yoruba land, we know they buy twins, so we they worship them. We call our twins Taiwo and Kendi, Oruko and Mutonwa, meaning these are names they brought from heaven. Twins are so revered in Yoruba culture that even the junior one to the twins don't get named down. Ido. Once you born twins, not only are their names guaranteed, the name of the person that is born after the twins is guaranteed in Yoruba land. Even the name of the one born after that one, Alaba. So when you hear Alaba, you will know he's the child or she's the child born immediately after the child born after the twins. So to say that a white woman came to Nigeria to eradicate uh, the buying of twins is, in my humble opinion, a bit irresponsible, especially when we have so many Nigerian cultures who love twins. We call twins in Yoruba land Orisha, in Igala land, which is quite similar to Yoruba culture. Twins are worshipped. They are served food from when they're young with two hands. So I consider it rather irresponsible for anyone to assume that an Oibo woman eradicated the buying of twins in Nigeria. Nigeria is not Calabao. The popular Afrobeat musician Sean Kuti also reacted to the video which he stated that Femi Lazarus does not know the African history and he is going to insult his religion as he has also insulted the African religion. Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, see, today I bring, because today that history lesson, I bring this book especially, blaming the victim. Yeah, blaming the victim by William Ryan. This book, see how small it is? It's not a very big book, but not a very big book. See the subtitle? The, the subtitle, uh, the the uh, subtext. I mean, one of the people, an impassioned, often brilliant expose. Sorry, somebody did an article on this book. One of the critics say is an impassioned, often brilliant expose of middle class ideology. Now, through this book. Now, you make me understand that Nigerian professionals be Nigerian problem. After the elites, after the elites, the problem we have in this country are the professionals so tied, so willing to submit to the elites. 
no matter what they do that is bad, willing to submit so they don't ever point out the true disease of our society. They point out the symptoms, blame the victim. Uh, young people are smoking too much. Young people are fucking too much. They don't get cut their hair. Pull up your pants. You don't like to walk. We don't, all these excuses we give to blame the victims of the atrocities of your masters. We blame the victims for the atrocities of our masters. Because we are not brave enough to call our masters out and say, Oh God, now you did wrong. Now you now they the spoil country. We don't want to do that. So it's important that we blame the victims. We have to turn around and blame it on the victims. The people will be saying that they are, that they are the, the victims of these wicked people will now say they are the cause of their own problem. Yes, that's what middle class people do. All over the world. All over the world. It comes with capitalism. It's not the only way to survive capitalism with that. If you're not brave enough to resist, if you don't get the mind to resist, if you're not brave to be a revolutionary, then you must succumb to blaming the victim. Now, this life today, now to answer this Lazarus, Pastor Lazarus, wait to be name. I don't know, Femi Lazarus. <laughs> I say African people bearing European name. Fella, thank you for changing my European name to African name. I say African people bearing these foreign names are so funny. Are you imagine Femi Lazarus? I mean, what the fuck is this name, my God? <laughs> Daddy Freeze sent me the guy ranting and I'd seen tags. You know, because normally I don't even want to talk for this thing. But over 1 million, I mean, no, no, I can't exaggerate, but like over 300 people tagging me under this guy's nonsense. You know, and intellectually, I am above this guy. I'm sorry to say, when I really tag me, you guys have to respect what I do. Intellectually, I bring, see, may I show you now? One, two, three. I won't give this one away for free today. Today I'll give out a free book because they don't really like to now. So I'll give one person that wants to learn about abolition of slavery in Africa. I'll dash you this book to read this, this, this book. And I will explain what this book is so that you can understand what I'm giving you. I brought this again, our holy Bible of African people. The West and the rest of us, white predators, black slavers, and the African elite. I bring this book out too for a reason. Mr. Man, we say no history. And I brought this. Are you still a slave? This one, I'm not going to talk about it, but I want to say this book exists. <laughs> and I want you to know that this book exists. Are you still a slave? I want you to know that this book exists. So you can go and look for it and buy it and do the test. And do the test. To find out if you are still a slave. Because 90% of now for this country, you are still slaves. You are, you, you are slaves. Buy this book. Buy shirt. Go and read this book. It's written by one of our loveliest sisters, Shahrazad Ali. I don't agree with many things Shahrazad Ali says. She's a great big sister of all black people all over the world. A great scholar. I don't agree with many of the things she stands, it's really a relationship, man and woman advice talk. I don't stand, I don't believe it. But this book, she's on point. Go and buy this book and do your test. So you can be, to the slave, all those slave behavior within your body, you can see it and start removing it. I also brought this one. This is one of the most interesting books I've read in my life. It's by Kersey Graves. It's called The Bible of Bible of 27 divine revelations a description of 27 bibles and an exposition of 2000 biblical errors in science history morals religion and general events this guy went into the bible and every single mistake he brought it out he brought it out mm -hmm. 
So I have the, and I'm going to read that this Christianity, I'm going to, I'm going to make fun of you. I'm going to show you that your Bible is a stupid book. If you think that you can insult your ancestors and be a bastard child, because only a bastard child insults his parents, will look back at his people and do pepe. Now, bastard, they behave like that. So if you think you're going to be a bastard child, I will bastardize your religion. Because many of you forget that it is my family that started this gangster shit in Yoruba land. We are pioneers of Christianity. So when all of you start to tag me, and the useless person that is talking did not come outside, I said, don't tag this one, so may they not spoil my job. And by the way, with the way he was talking, I know seen a me and that the freeze he talked to. I know, but as all Christians are, it was too pussy. It was too pussy. They have the balls to say our name. Because you need balls to say names. As much as they call the name, so Femi Lazarus, he had no balls. You know, that thing that makes you a man, that gives you bass in your voice. To say the names of the people he's talking to. Say it will be propagandist. Daddy Free sent me the things. Daddy Free said, oh, look at this guy talking to us. They don't tag me, Taya. They don't do this, they don't do that. This video has sparked lots of reactions on Twitter. TDB, what you telling me, said, The show could you think they off me because you're coming to discredit history by using history as your source. So the Christian history is wrong because we weren't there, but yours is right because you weren't there too. Papi also said, No, this man is trying to distort history. Amuni Lila said, He's making valid points. Abuja Mayor said, Too much of everything is bad. I will never listen to what a man who said he doesn't believe in God has to say no point listening because we are not of the same kingdom we are two separate people living on the earth Ola Yakubu said it's funny i've been saying these pastors with their fake miracles would make people start to question the miracles of jesus only for shown to bring forth receipts Kalashinikov said, What's truth if it can't be verified? Life is beyond the physical eyes, so I'm to just take your word for it and follow your belief without proof. Investor also said, If you study history, you can relate easily to everything he is saying at all truth. Ghost also said, Baba, there were kings that were enslaved and detuned too, so who sold those kings if the kings are the ones selling people? Ade Love also said, Industrial revolution ended slavery, yoga. Mind shift initiative said i knew this man would outstalk himself one day pastor please read your history again no i'm not against religion but this one is not so true director like he said if any man would really want to put aside the every weight of frustration the country might have heaped on them and perhaps their immediate relatives you would see the church christianity is not the problem of nigeria africa or the world what are your thoughts on the impact of christianity in nigeria and africa at large do you believe it did more good than harm share your opinion in the comment section.